Hi, Ben here with Amtex again. This is this video, which is the third part of the uh, training videos for Inferno 3047 2013, the eruption model. This uh, video shows you pretty much how to run the machine, how to control it, and how to shut it down correctly. Now, as the prior video I explained, one of the main things again, make sure you do check your oil levels, the engine oil level, the pump oil level, and also make sure that your dripper valve is very important, which uh, removes a small amount of water from the regulator which is connected to the head of the pump to the tank to kind of maintain the um, head of the pump and prevent it from getting hot because we want our heaters to run hot not our uh, uh, pump. One of the first thing you do again like I said after doing all your checkups you go ahead and move the throttle and the uh, choke handle all the way to the right move the throttle a little bit to the left from the rest position close the choke as you're cranking open the choke now if the engine is cold just like the prior videos don't open the choke right away bring it to the center allow the engine to run a little bit rich that way you'll be able to kind of get the baby to start quicker so we're going to go ahead and because the engine has run we have already run the system for about two minutes that way you don't have to wait around for us to heat it up so you always allow the machine to run about two minutes after startup if you're going to be doing a single action try to do anywhere from 2900 to 3000 rpm and if you're going to go dual action go about 3200 anything higher than that is going to make the machine extreme too hot that means you're going to have to work faster and harder so we're going to go ahead and start it we already have run the system for two minutes we're just going to go ahead and crank it open the choke, increase our RPM, go to the one and show its performance. Now one of the things that we have brought up in this video it is the new filter that from one of our, one of our um, suppliers in Red Bluff, California, Devastator Filters. Uh, this, this filter right here, if you notice, you have two ports in which allows the water to go, I mean the, uh, the suction to be pulled towards the end, uh, machine and also you have one that goes towards your tool. They do make a big difference as far as the um, uh, performance of the machine. We do use this other style which is one in one out for our smaller unit like 20 horse and the Prowler. But one of these filters truly helps the machine run much cleaner because you capture 99% of the debris out of the machine and allows the machine to always have a clean airflow system. Let's go and tr turn the baby on, show his power and we'll go from there. As you notice we're gonna go ahead and increase our RPM which allows two port sucking the uh, air out and one towards your uh, tool. That's why you hear you hear the extreme sound of the suction. It makes a big difference, especially if you have uh, a, a dual action machine with a sun, a large blower like a 4.7 that we have on the front of it. You want to kind of reposition to the second level. So again, one of the things about our machines, our videos, uh, we don't use, in none of our videos, we use chemical. In other words, any kind of performance that you see out of our machine is the machine running using just pure water. So you're about to see the performance of this baby. So imagine if you do any kind of treatment, which I'm sure you do for any kind of special type of stain that you have to do treat them. Imagine what kind of performance and what kind of cleaning result you will get with the Inferno 3047 eruption. We're going to go in there right now, just like the other videos, open up bypass on the one and get the one hot because everybody's thinking when the machine runs, everything gets hot. Machine gets hot, heater gets hot, hoses, the water inside of the hoses runs and what have you. That's not true. Water is inside of the machine. It needs to be brought into the tool. It don't matter what machine it is because from one job to another job, you do leave your water inside of the uh, hoses and they get cooled off, especially if you're working in the winter time, as the water travels on the ground, it does lose a lot of heat. So it's always good to have a bypass on the water to get the hot water to it. So very simple design. It's been around, so we're going to go ahead and open it and slowly and start feeding for heat. It's going to get to the point that I can't hold anymore. That's the beginning of my hot water. The 
long is coming in. There you go. Eruption in action. Every time you clean, you make sure you do dry strokes. Now remember, we're running the machine. We're running the machine at 2,900, 3,000. Imagine if you were running the machine faster. So always be careful with these big monsters we build. Faster you run them, wilder they get. So what we're gonna go in the game. Again, let go, do some dry stroke. And if you notice, as I'm coming back, as I'm coming back with my water, as I come back with my water, I lift the water. Because by doing that, because if you continuously keep your tool on the ground, you create so much HG buildup inside of your hoses, which you slow down the movement of the dirty water towards the machine. But if you pick up your wand and allow the a gulf of air to enter, it pushes the dirty water or the recovered water, the gray water, whatever you want to call it, faster towards the machine. That means it evacuates the uh, hoses free of dirty water, and now you'll be able to have a better suction. You want to come back over here? Again, because I've been spending time talking, let's just go in and get the wrong part. There we go. since the machine is off, there is no suction to take the recovered water or the repair, uh, bypass water away, you will cause flooding. Because we're going to the machine itself, it does have a bypass to help us allow it to cool it off. So we're going to go outside, 
Our um, shutoff procedure is basically three steps. We're going to lower the RPM. We allow the machine to evacuate all the hot water out. We lubricate the blower and shut down. There we go. We may be careful. explain in the prior videos if you shut down the system at high speed and while the machine is hot your exhaust manifolds are all hot and there's a lot of possibilities that you might have over deposit of the uh, fume which is a uh, uh, fuel mixed with air running through the um, intake and cause backfiring that's why it's always good to cool off the machine allow the all the manifolds to cool off right before shutdown Increase the RPM, RPM and right away shut down. That way you will burn every extra fume that might be in the intake and cause explosion and uh, backfire into the exhaust. Again, I want to thank you for your time. This was a quick demonstration of our new Inferno 3047 eruption. This machine has been out since January of 2013. There's plenty of these has been built and been ordered already. Uh, and it, this machine was created back in 1997 and in the past few years has had have got a very great track record serving its customers and also its simplicity what makes this machine so beautiful that does not have hardly any uh, downtime again i want to thank you for your time and i look forward to see you in new, near future videos